You have the right to remain dead. Anything you say can't be much. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Toy World Alert! So here we are. And there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have some lovely artwork of Alert. His name is Alert. He is a Kubelwagen. On this side, we have Alert. On this side, Alert. On this side, Alert. On this side, Alert. On the back of the box, we have some QR codes. If you want to scan them, go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. And we have... Sad Pac-Man! Rare we get these in Transformers reviews, but that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have Alert, and this is Toy World's take on a World War barricade, and this is meant to go with their World War Bumblebee. And, uh, yeah, here he is in his vehicle mode. He is a Kugelwagen. I just like saying it like that, I'm sorry. But <laughs> here is the vehicle mode. That looks pretty good. Nice old timey vehicle. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Okay, so right off the bat, I just want to say um, you have this rope right up front, which I'm not a fan of. Not really a fan. I think it looks ugly. It looks like it could be made out of human hair for all I know. Not a fan of it. Not really a fan, but luckily you can take it right off. And I'm going to leave this off because I don't, I don't like it. Not a fan. Sorry, not a fan of it. But you can just pull this off. And put that off the side. Ew, it just feels nasty. But anyway, you can see you have a license plate right there. That looks a lot better. So I'm going to leave it like that. Look at the spare tire right up front. You see you get some nice weathering there. It just looks dirty and dingy. Same thing with all the other wheels. Just dirty, dingy wheels. And the wheels are plastic. Get across there. On the side. Into the interior. Two front seats. The back seat. Get a steering wheel in there. Again, everything has a nice weathering effect to it. You got some like spots of rust and whatnot. In the back, got some lettering. I always end up with a little bit of a gap back here. I can never get that totally closed up. You can see, you got some tampographed details back there. And yeah. There is the top, there is the bottom. Yeah, you can see his feet just kind of hanging out back there. It does roll as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with the uh, Studio Series Barricade. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with their World War Bumblebee. And yeah, he's, he's a bit bigger. So, there you go. So now let's run through the accessories. The uh, first thing we get is a uh, little display base here. This looks like some cobblestone pavement going on there. Nicely painted. Um, you do get uh, a bunch of magnets for this base. There are eight magnets in total, and they go in each of these spots. You just put the magnet in, and you put the little cap on top of it, and that way... Your base is now magnetized, so if you have multiples of these, um, if you got Bulldog, then you should have another one. So you can just magnet them together. Oops, make sure you get your north and south. Right, there we go. And you can just combine them like so, and they will magnetize themselves however you want. However you want to do it, totally up to you. Again, make sure, there you go. Make sure you have things oriented properly, and got a nice strip of pavement there that you can work with. If you want to, again, make sure. There we go. <laughs> you have a nice strip of pavement there. Display your cars. Hey, why not? There I say, why not? But you get that. You also get a, uh, a little shovel. Just done. Like a dull silver. With brown for the handle. And you can't store this on the vehicle mode. There are these little... Little clips right here on either side. And you can just slide that through right there. You can throw that shovel. You can leave it on him for transformation too if you want to. Totally up to you what you want to do there. But yeah, yes. He has a little shovel. Hey, why not? Why not? He does have his buzzsaw weapon here. It's not complete right now, but we'll uh, we'll finish this up a little bit later, but just showing it off. 
Right now, you can see, got some nice paintwork, got some nice weathering to it. Um, there's no official storage for this anywhere that I can see, but you can just, you know, chuck it in the back seat. There you go. There's your storage. <laughs> just chuck it in the back seat. You also get a uh, replacement chest piece for their World War Bumblebee, and then you can see it's it's pretty much the uh, the Jeep Bumblebee chest piece. Because reasons, I, I don't know. But uh, basically, how this works, I'll just show it off here because it's actually easier to do in vehicle mode. But you just take this chest piece off, just a friction hinge, pop it off, pop a new one on, and you can give Bumblebee the. Uh, the Jeep chest piece. Of course, you can't use this for vehicle mode because that's just that doesn't work out at all. But it's it's strictly for robot mode. But a hey, options if you want options, things you can do if you want to do it. But um, I'll show that off a little bit better when we get to the robot mode stuff. But hey, it's a thing that you get if you want to use it. You also get a uh, a big old communications box here you got the receiver cell phones were a lot bigger back then you know it's just they, didn't, they hadn't refined the technology yet but you can just hang that up right there you can turn the crank here if you want to there is a lot of nice detail going on here as you can see very nicely done got the dials there got some nice detail on it all in all Looks quite cool. Um, this does open up, so you can use this for storage as well. Just throw your accessories in there, like the nasty rope or something, and you know, all this stuff. You can check that in there if you want to for storage, which is nice. So, hey, that's a thing that you get also. You also get a, uh, a chair. Yes, you get a chair. It's made of die cast. It's a, yeah, it's a, little, it's a little metal chair. So, hey, you got a little metal chair. And you also get a little metal desk. You can see it has some, uh, some accoutrement molded in there. Um, you can see it's a little bit, it's not totally straight. It's made up of multiple pieces. And I, it's, it seems like it's all glued together because I can't pull it apart to try to straighten it out. But um, yeah, you get a nice die cast table for your die cast chair. If you want, we can just set this down right here and the last thing we get is little frenzy Yay, we got a little frenzy and he comes packed in this box and he's in pieces you just have to put them together everything just taps together um the arms just plug in to the ball sockets but you can see pretty nicely done for a little figure for a little guy he's a little guy but nice little frenzy here and his head is on a ball joint you can wiggle it um, the neck is also on a ball joint you can wiggle that around as well shoulders are on a ball joint um you can turn his waist the hips are on a, oops he does come apart he comes packed in pieces too he just you know he comes apart but he does have <laughs> legs on a ball joint you get a rotation a little bit of in and out and his feet are on a ball joint so you have your tilted rotation edge wiggle waggle all of that good stuff there. You can have, you know, Frenzy hanging out, just, you know, having a seat in the chair, all that good stuff. He looks like he's trying to sell you this car now. I don't know. He's a used car salesman. I don't know. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. Um, you can sit him in the car if you want. Uh, you have to basically rip him in half and Honestly, I've found, like, I've had such a hard time getting him in the car with his arms on. <laughs> you probably can do it, but it's just a pain in the butt. So I'm just going to pop his arms off. And you can see there are slots in either seat here. And you can just take them, just plug them in, and you can have him driving the car. Again, you can try to plug his, in, plug his arms in. It's just a pain in the butt to do it, but you get the idea. You can have him sitting in the car <laughs> if you want to. Hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? And if you don't want to do all that, then hey, you can just, you can just, uh, that popped off. Throw him in here. Throw him in here. Back him in there. There you go. That's what he came packaged. So hey, all things you can do, if you want to do it, why not? Dare I say, why not? But the one cool thing about this frenzy, though, is if you don't want to display this frenzy with this figure, I think he would go really well with the uh, 
with the MPM, honestly. I think he would look good alongside the MPM. So hey, got an option there. And as always, options are what? They're good. And one more thing that we get with this figure is we get uh, this little black box right here. And this comes with, let's open this up. In this box, there is another piece of Starscream. We get his other leg, so now I have both of his legs. Um, Bulldog was supposed to come with an arm, which I did not get, but I did manage to track down that arm, so I will have both legs, an arm, um, their hot rod is supposed to come with the other arm, and I believe the uh, battleship Jetfire they're putting out is supposed to have the main body, so once we have all those figures, we'll be able to uh, put together our, uh, our Starscream, so yeah. Another piece of Starscream there, yay! So that is basically it for the vehicle mode. And I think it looks pretty good. Now one uh, little issue is you can see like the front wheels are kind of like angled out. And there's nothing you can really do about that. Um, there is there is a video showing how to fix that and straighten those wheels back out. I just, I, I don't care enough to really do it. You know, it doesn't bother me that much. But um, you know, that, that is one little issue there with the figures, just those front wheels are just kind of like angled out a little more than they should be, but they, all in all, though, I think it looks pretty good. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> let's get back here, man. Get back here. So, first thing we are going to do, if you want to take this section here with the spare tire, just bring that up, and that will allow you to bring this whole windshield section up. And once you do that, you just come back here, just untab this section. Untab this section, and that will allow you to bring all of this out and up. Out and up, like so. And once we do that, you want to take this whole lower body here, bring it down. It's on a double hinge. Just rock that forward, and that will sit right there. And we'll just work on the legs. So you want to take this back seat and all this. Just bring that up. Flip these seats down. You just want to split the legs and just shift them up on these hinges like so and once you do that you just flip this in bring this up and bring the foot with it just bring all this up and around that will sit right there and you just bring up his little uh, little foot spike and there you have a leg all done second verse guess what just like the fast so just flip that in just bring all of this up that will just sit in right there. Flip up a little spike. And there you have the lower body all done. And now we move on to the upper body. We just rotate his arms down. And we can just kind of bring this back and get this stuff out of the way. You want to take this section here. You want to just rotate this up. And this panel will just swing in like that. We'll do the same thing on this side. We'll just do that now. Bring that up. Just swing that in. There you go. You can angle those however you desire. And now we will finish off his arms here. So here's a mistake that I made, and I did break a tab because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so what you want to do is you want to, you can see this hinge here. You want to bring this hinge in because there's a tab that goes up into this panel, under this panel here. If you just try to pull it out, like I did on this side, You'll, you'll snap off that little tab. You don't want to do that. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to bring this hinge in like that, and it will just kind of slide that tab out from underneath. You can see a little tab there. I originally thought the tab was going into the arm this way and not going up, so I just yanked on this and I broke that tab. So that was totally my bad because I didn't know what I was doing and I did things wrong. So you just want to make sure you just bring that in so that way it pulls that tab out from underneath and then you can fold this down. And then you take this whole section on this double hinge and just shift it upward like so. And we just flip out his hand open up his fingers and you just take this wheel that will untab and shift to the inside and there you have an arm all done second verse is just like the first again do it the right way bring it down instead of breaking things 
The instructions suck, by the way. The instructions suck, so it is what it is. Um, then just shift that up. Flip out the hand. Open up his hand. And bring this wheel around. There you go. There you got the arms all done. And we're pretty close to the home stretch here. So just get your finger behind his head. Just push his head up, bring it up. Just kind of get it seated properly there. This section here with the steering wheel, you just want to push underneath. You want to come here to this back seat section, bring that down. You want to bring these sections up like that. And all of this will just collapse into the back like so. Bring this down and these will just collapse in at the sides like so. You just bring this down, bring the windshield down, bring this armature down, bring the spare tire up, and that will sit on his back like so. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done. And there you go. There you have Alert, aka Barricade, in his robot mode. And he looks good. He looks real good and the transformation works. See, Toy World can do transformations that actually work well and actually enjoyable. Just for some reason with their larger movie bots, they just forget everything they've learned. I don't get it. It makes no sense, but hey. <laughs> At least they can get it right some of the time, but yeah. He looks good. He looks good. And it's getting close here. Not on his chest, but at the noggin. There's the noggin. You can tell you it's a nice barricade noggin. I don't know how well you can see it, but his eyes are painted in red. And looks good. Nice barricade noggin going on there. Got some nice details there that are exposed. Oh no. I think it's a nice design. With really long arms. He just has long arms. <laughs> and his feet. And his big old feet. And move up the back. You can see. It's a pretty clean transformation. I mean, he has some stuff kind of hanging out back there, but all in all, it works well and it makes him look the way barricades should look, you know? So, all in all, nicely done, in my opinion. And now, articulation wise, uh, the head can rotate, can do a full 360. You have a hinge there, so you can look up and down. You can do lots of squirrel. You can, you can look, you can do that, you know? So, hey, and you can move that forward if you want to. You can have the head pretty much sitting wherever you want. Uh, the arms can do a full 360. They can move up. That, okay, that's the first time that's happened. Popping pieces off. That's not supposed to. That's not supposed to. That's not supposed to. You stay there. You stay. The arms can move in and out. They can move forward and back. Also, uh, you got bicep rotation. Yeah, over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You don't have any wrist rotation just due to the way this works. You have a little bit of inward movement, but the hands are posable. Um, the thumb is on a hinge at the base and a hinge there. And the fingers are on a hinge at the base and a hinge right there. The top part of the fingers are individually hinged, but the bottom part is just one solid piece. Now, moving on down, you do have waist rotation. The legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. You can do the full splits. Um, yeah. If you bring this down, you know, that's sort of rotation, weird angle of rotation, but you have it. Um, you have thigh rotation. You have, you do have a double jointed knee, but it still only gives you about 90 degrees of bend and the feet, they can move up, they can move down and you do have your ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his murder wheel and how this works is you want to take the, uh, the spare tire off. Just wiggle that off. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Pop that off. Like so. And then this will plug on to the murder wheel. Like that. And then this will peg in right here onto his hand. And voila. Now he has his murder wheel. So hey. All things you can do if you want to do it. 
So there you have that, and now for Comparison, here he is with Studio Series Barricade. As you can see, these figures are meant to be more Studio Series scaled, and then we'll bring a Frenzy too, just so you can see how that works out. Here he is with uh, Bulldog. Here he is with their Bumblebee. And I think they look quite, quite good together. And again, if you want to use the uh, the Jeep chest, you can just put that on and it's just going to look like that. Things you can do if you want to do it. There you go. And uh, just because here he is with the MPM barricade. And again, I think this frenzy would work well with the uh, MPM as well. Guess you can see how that works out. So there you go. So there you have alert and uh, yeah, nicely done figure. I do quite like them. Um, you know, the vehicle mode looks good. The robot mode looks good. The transformation actually works. It's enjoyable. Um, so that gets uh, major points considering the uh, past couple Toy World figures I've gotten from them. They're bigger figures anyway. Their smaller figures are great. This guy, Bumblebee, they're great. Just their larger scaled figures. They just, for some reason, don't know what they're doing with those. But but still a, uh, a very nicely done figure, in my opinion. You get a lot of accessories, a lot of display options there. So that's always cool. And uh, yeah, overall, very nicely done. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Show Z Store. I'll put a link to their sites in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Toy World Alert. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face. What are you doing here, Autobot? What are you doing here? Wait, am I supposed to be talking here? I'm, I'm not sure this part confuses me. Anyway. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. But no matter, where is Ladies Man 217? Oh, no, 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 that hasn't happened yet. He hasn't even been born yet. Oh, okay, uh, well, not quite sure what to do now. You know what, I, I, I'm just gonna go. I, I, I need to figure some things out. Okay, good luck with that. I mean, just, just covering my bases.